As it's written in the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 7, and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, and always remember the time frame of Revelation chapters 2 and 3 is after Satan appears as Antichrist, and also after those of the Zadok, the 7,000 very elect as they're called, or 232 of that number, I believe, are delivered up to death, but not literally because death is one of Satan's names. That's when the Holy Spirit speaks through them, bringing many out of Babylon, which means confusion, and back to the true Christ. They'll repent and will then be grafted back into the many-membered body of the true Christ, God's family tree. These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, the true Christ, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. Only the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb slain, can open our understanding to the truth of God's word, and once that door is open in your mind, which is what's in your forehead, no man can shut it. And at the same time, Christ shuts the door to deception, which no man can reopen, because once you learn the truth, you can no longer be deceived. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Again, the time frame here is after Satan appears as Antichrist, and after those of the Zadok who will be here after at that time are delivered up, which is when the Holy Spirit speaks through them. Not the entire 7,000 Zadok, in my opinion, but rather 232 of that number, with the rest of the 7,000 being the armies of heaven you can read of in Revelation chapter 19. Those who had lived and died throughout the centuries, bringing forth the word of God, being chosen for that purpose before the foundation of the world, before the destruction of the first world age, because they stood against Satan in his first rebellion. They'll live and reign with Christ during the millennium, as you can read of in Ezekiel chapter 44, as well as Revelation chapter 20. The Zadok, who never bow a knee to Baal, and some of the Zadok, 232 in my opinion, and that you can read of in 1 Kings chapter 2015, will be delivered up for refusing to worship Satan when he appears in Jerusalem as the false Christ. And at that time, they'll keep Christ's word and will not deny his name. In other words, they'll remain faithful to the true Jesus, allowing the Holy Spirit to speak through them when they're delivered up during the sixth trumpet. And the time frame here in Revelation chapters 2 and 3 is after that's already happened. The word name in the Greek is number 3686 in the Strong's Concordance, and it's from 1097, which means to know absolutely, to know beyond any shadow of a doubt the difference between the true Christ, the root, and the offspring of David, and the false Christ, who is that old serpent called the devil and Satan, the key of David being what Christ unlocks the door to the truth with in your mind, which is what's in your forehead, and locks the door to deception whereby you cannot be deceived. The truth of God's word, chapter by chapter and verse by verse, with understanding, brings you the genealogy of the true Christ who came from true Judah, and from God's word we know and understand who false Judah is, the synagogue of Satan, who claim to be of Judah, but do lie. The stones worn smooth, who are the Kenites, who came from the false rock, their father the devil. Their rock is not as our rock, because our rock is the true Christ, the son of David, who is of the true tribe of Judah, through his mother, his father being the father, because Christ Jesus is the only begotten son of God. And when Satan appears in Jerusalem at 666, the sons of Cain, who are the synagogue of Satan, will announce to the world the Messiah. Messiah has arrived, and if the understanding that Satan appears as Antichrist before the true Christ returns is absent from your mind, which is what's in your forehead, you will be deceived into worshiping the devil, thinking he's Jesus, receiving the mark of the beast in your forehead, and not understanding who the Kenites are specifically is another reason that many will waver at that time. Many people at this time know what the Kenites are, but they don't really know who the Kenites are. They think they do, but they don't. It's really not that complicated when you understand that Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of England, who is an ethnic German, has a documented genealogy going back to King David, who was of the tribe of Judah. So if Queen Elizabeth is ethnically German and she's of the tribe of Judah, then Judah can be none other than the same ethnicity she is. Again, ethnically, she's Germanic. The House of Windsor was originally called the House of Saxe, Coburg, and Gotha. This has nothing to 
to do with each individual salvation because it's whosoever will, but it is a salvation issue because if a Christian believes the Kenites when they say the Messiah has arrived and worship the devil, they're no longer saved. They're no longer Christian because they're no longer believing in the true Christ. They become anti-Christians instead of Christians when they're grafted into Satan's family tree at 666 along with the Kenites, the natural branches of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus has come in the flesh is not of God. Every spirit that confesses not that Christ came in his first advent and that he shall return at the seventh trumpet. If you don't confess that Jesus is the true Messiah, then you're not of God. It's that simple. And this is the spirit of Antichrist whereof ye have heard that it should come. And even now already is it in the world. 1948 beginning the final generation with the completion of the globalization of the four hidden dynasties when the fig tree's branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves not fruit for the kingdom of God that only a Christian can produce but leaves only and fig leaves are what Adam and Eve covered themselves with when Eve was impregnated by Satan with Cain who was of that wicked one that old serpent called the devil and Satan the good figs don't return until Christ sends his angels to gather his elect from the four winds which always means the five month long hour of temptation. In this case, at the end of it, when Christ sends his angels to gather his elect from the uttermost part of earth to the uttermost part of heaven, those of the Zadok who had died throughout the centuries returning with Christ at the seventh trumpet, along with those who are alive and remain, they'll be gathered to Jerusalem to live and reign with Christ, as you can see in Revelation chapter 20 from the Millennial Temple, and you can read that they're gathered from earth and heaven in Mark chapter 13, verses 24 through 20. And then in verse 28, the very next verse, now learn a parable of the fig tree, because at the seventh trumpet, the evil figs are cast out of Jerusalem when the good figs return at the seventh trumpet at harvest time, which is the end of the world. The Zadok, as well as the 144,000 and whoever else of their own free will, repented before the true Christ returned and was grafted back in to God's family tree, taking part in the first resurrection. Only the Zadok are allowed to approach Christ until the thousand years are finished and that's when Satan is released one last time and whoever follows him at that time will follow him into the lake of fire being blotted out of existence forever and ever along with the son of perdition that's why Satan is called the son of perdition he received the death sentence in Ezekiel chapter 28 where he's also called the king of Tyrus Tyrus means rock and their rock is not as our rock our rock is the true Christ who doesn't return until the seventh trumpet their rock is the false Christ the false messiah, that old serpent called the devil and Satan who appears in Jerusalem at the sixth trumpet. So get into God's word now while there's still time and as Christ says in the last verse of Mark 13, what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch.